Well, good afternoon, everybody. Ha! Trick you all. Look at this. I have an experiment. Gary's doing an experiment. This is what I've rigged up. See if anybody can guess what I'm doing here. Ah, I see some of you have figured it out. This is supposed to be a de-rusting uh, experiment uh, with the electrolysis. The idea is that you have some power going into a power supply that brings the voltage down to 12 volts and you have an anode and cathode um, sacrificial metal right here let me point this out better uh, the anodes are sorry the cathodes are here and the anodes are there I think that I think that's right well geez if I'm doing this experiment I better get it right otherwise hmm what could go wrong and I got a bunch of uh, metal parts here that uh, I'm trying to well I want to see if this business works at all to uh, de-rust them so there's uh, some spanners uh, they're old British lathe tools another spanner there another one right there Got a big uh, chuck right there, big bison chuck. It's uh, got some surface rust. Um, not so much rust on this one, except over here. And on the other side, there's some rust. So I want to see how this is going to work, uh, or if it's going to work. Um, because I got this big bad boy. This big, huge, rusty old chuck that I want to I wanna throw into this uh, experiment and see if it works. My solution right here is water and sodium carbonate. So that's already uh, mixed up and uh, ready to dump in there. I have not fired anything up yet. Uh, so this is going to be the first time. And uh, yeah, you must be wondering, is it safe? Well, well, no. Uh, some of you might ask, shit, where's the circuit protection, Gary? Where the fuck is the circuit protection? Well, yeah, yeah, there isn't any. <laughs> It wouldn't be uh, an experiment without uh, taking out some of the safety precautions now, would it? So, uh, what would the fun be? Anyway, we're going to try this and see uh, if things uh, explode or blow up. And um, if they do, i got a fire extinguisher back there somewhere. I'm going to have to dive over all that shit. <laughs> Let's see how things go. Alright, before I get uh, going here, um, some people may be interested in how I put this thing together. Um, so essentially what I did, I fabricated, you know, just out of some pieces of steel that I had laying around. I didn't buy anything other than the tub, but, uh, let me see if I can pull this out. Basically just, uh, I made a couple of hangers with some, a sacrificial, uh, bar that came off of a clamp, woodworking clamp that I didn't need anymore. It hangs off the side. Um, that would be the anode. The cathode side are, um, are just uh, stainless steel rods, quarter inch. Uh, there's two of them so that I could easily place these alligator clips that I fashioned up like this right here. So I got these alligator clips with uh, solid core wire. I think it's 18 gauge, it could be 16. Um, shit, I hope it's 16 but I have a feeling it's 18. Anyway, it's what I had laying around. Um, I uh, drilled and tapped uh, for screws. Same thing with uh, the, um, the cathode side of the, uh, the, the quarter inch rods. Uh, I welded on these, um, these little plates. I don't know if you can see through the uh, urethane, but um, I just basically tack welded on these little plates so that I could uh, put a screw on there um, so I can attach a terminal um, and it fits in there real nicely and snugly and it won't pop out and uh, those are essentially just the rods that allow you to clip things on 
uh, in awkward places and awkward spots so you don't have to have long wires running all over the place. So I made up a bunch of these alligator clips that, uh, that could connect to uh, you know, the various bits and pieces that are inside there. The only thing you got to be really careful of is that none of the uh, metal parts that you're trying to de-rust touch the uh, um, sacrificial part directly um, because that would be a short circuit. At least the water in there uh, acts as a load so uh, you have some protection. Anyway, so, uh, so that's what I fabricated. Uh, came back down here into uh, a battery charger. This is an old Pearl Mariner battery charger. And um, I got the uh, positive and uh, negative side there, so it's 12 volts. And uh, this battery charger, 25 amps. Fuck, I hope not. <laughs> I hope it doesn't go anywhere near that. Uh, because with the wiring that I have here, I think I'm maxing out at 10 amps before things could start going uh, uh, melty melty. So let's hope it doesn't go uh, too high. It would have been nice to have maybe a smaller battery charger. We'll have to, uh, we'll have to look at that later maybe. But uh, in the meantime, we've got this beast. Things even got a fan in there. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much all there is to it. So um, let me put this down and fire it up. Okay, she's running. Let's see what's happening in there. Look at that. Fuzzy, fuzzy stuff going on. Hmm. That's really interesting. Look at that work. Jeez. That's really, uh, really bubbling in there. Yep. Look at that fizz up. Holy crap. What's going on here? Fuck! 15 amps! Holy shit. Uh, let's see if that's really true. Oh yes. That is not good. 15 amps is a lot. Jeez, I was hoping it'd be around 5. Crap. Fuck. Oh man, I better keep my eye on this shit. Man, look at this thing go. It's just turning into a sewer. Jeez. Holy shit, man. That is acting fast. I better, uh, I don't smell smoke yet. But wow, look at all the crap coming off that already. That's incredible. Jeez. I just turned this thing on. It's like, like not even two minutes. Well, wow. All right, let me put this down. Look at that underwater view. That there is the sacrificial piece of metal. And man, is it ever foamy. What a soup. All right, let's see what's going on here. Still at 15 amps. Oh boy. Yep. I feel the wires. Oh yeah, they're getting a little warm there. Yo yo yo. Oh yeah. Huh. I hope this thing gets done quickly. Yeah, staying steady. Ooh, what's that? It's making noise. <laughs> oh, the fans on this baby. Holy shit. Yeah, this isn't too safe. But let's hurry up and get this done. Look at it now, eh? Look at that sea of rust. Isn't that incredible? That is disgusting. Um, we're about 15 minutes into this uh, experiment. And um, just so everybody knows, I do have a fan here. 
uh, running just over top of this nasty mess coming off. It's well ventilated uh, through my garage. I got good cross ventilation and I'm also wearing uh, gloves now um, because I'm about to hook my fingers in here. Jeez, what can go wrong? Electricity, water, oh boy. Now, I want to show you something really interesting here. The battery charger here shows 15 amps, um, and that's a lot. My wire is uh, 18 gauge. I just double checked that. It's solid core 18 gauge. But, but, uh, so that would be, I'm push, I would be pushing the max if not already overloaded. However, what I have done is that I've doubled up on the wiring. So every, every wire here has two conductors in it. So that means that I'm only carrying half of the total um, amp output through these leads, which would be roughly seven and a half if indeed I'm running 15 amps. Now, originally I was running 15 amps, but take a look at this now. My meter, which is a fluke, of course, the only one, is showing 5.4 amps now. It's dropped after about 15 minutes to 5.4 amps on the, uh, I'm reading the uh, DC positive output on both leads. But the battery charger is still showing 15 amps. That's, uh, that is incorrect. So who knows what the hell this thing's doing. Uh, but it's interesting that the, uh, um, that the current drops over time. Um, so that's telling me that there's probably less and less work to be done here. So it's probably close to being done, but I won't know until I turn it off and start uh, looking through here. So I thought I might actually do that now, but look at this mess. Isn't that incredible? That's just 15 minutes, 15 minutes. Take a look inside there. There's still a little bit of action, not quite as intense as it was before. But yeah, there you go. Okay, I'm gonna set this down so that you can see what these things look like when I pull them out. All right, so battery charger is off. Everything's unplugged. Well, main power is unplugged. A AC power is unplugged. And uh, look at that mess. That's really quite something. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna unclip these leads holy shit that's that's incredible look at this look at that I'm just going to turn this thing around look at this this was rusty as shit before Look at that. Friggin' incredible. Not a speck of rust anywhere. Nothing. Holy crap, that's amazing. Nice little tool. Let's see what else. What other goodies we have in here? Yeah. So, here's another one. This here's still got a lot of, I don't know, that doesn't look like rust. I think it's just pitted in there. Uh, the other side's better. I think it's just, you know, when it gets too rusty, you get, these, you get this pitting because it's just, you know, too far gone. This part right here is really nice and clean, and the inside is, uh, is super clean. And, yeah, either... Yeah, it doesn't look like, oh, maybe, I don't know. Maybe all it requires is just a little bit of brushing. And yeah, that black, that black oxide is coming right off. So, yep, there you go. So I just have to do a little bit of brushing on uh, some of the other stubborn stuff, but it's really nothing at all. It's easy. It's definitely not red rust. It's, uh, it's, it's some black oxide that's left over. Uh, but uh, wow, that's, uh, that's pretty amazing. Okay, I'm going to put this aside, clean uh, the rest up later. What other goodies do we have in here? Oh, I know this thing was completely caked in uh, rust. It was uh, a big spanner. Holy crap, incredible. 
All right. Get the loose stuff off here. Oh yeah, you know what? I know how this happened. This was the part that was laying down, down against the uh, the uh, the tub. So the top part, look at that, completely clean. Isn't that something? Completely clean. But on the bottom, there's still there's still some black stuff. And either I can just brush it off or flip it over and run it back in the solution again. But uh, I think just brushing it off, it's really easy to brush. I'm not putting a, a lot of pressure on there at all. And uh, I'd be quite happy with, uh, I'd be quite happy with this. Yeah, wow, amazing. That is amazing. Okay. Oh, oh wow. That's incredible. That's really nice. So where it used to be really rusty, it's just black there. Yeah, and it's all released and that's just uh, cast iron now, pure cast iron. It's a little bit of a brush to release the black stuff. Very nice. Same chuck. Okay, same kind of thing here. Yeah, it's uh, whatever rust there is gone. There's just some black leftover stuff that you know what look it actually comes off with uh, with my hand so this should be easy to just scrub off whatever can't physically release and that's in very very nice uh, condition yeah that's not rust there anymore beautiful shape beautiful shape and it gets into the nooks and crannies where you really can't get in there with uh, any other method other than you know like a, a vapor rust um, which which I've done on other parts and uh, it seems to work okay but this is a lot faster uh, it seems to work really really well and this is amazing this really is amazing with a vapor rust sometimes if it's heavily rusted you have to run it for several more days you know but uh, wow this is super clean inside okay well there you guys here you go um, maybe I can show you what the uh, sacrificial metal part looked like. And it's uh, really nasty. I can uh, unhook it from here. Ah, there we go. Look at that. Look at that nastiness. Well, that tells you that it is working. And next time around I can I can basically just wire brush this off and clean it up again and it's uh, ready to go. Yeah, that's the back side of it. So the front side of it, that attracts all the rust, it attaches to the uh, sacrificial part quite nicely. I think this is a better way of doing it than dropping rods in. I've seen some other YouTube videos where uh, guys um, drop rods, you know, into their buckets and at, at various places that, that's also good but I think uh, having a basically a rail along the uh, length of your uh, tub is, um, is more effective but you know anyway uh, this really worked um, yeah so uh, that's it guys thanks for watching